Hello everyone, welcome to the Advanced Spatial Analysis Labs. My name is Anastasios Dardis and I am a higher education developer in the Education and Research Group at Esri Canada. The purpose of this video you are watching is to provide some guidance in how to use the set of five semi-dependent tutorials which are in order to measure crime in Toronto using a plethora of spatial statistical tools in ArcGIS Pro. So the question is, how to use these tutorials properly? Well, generally in the world of analyzing data using statistics, start off with exploratory such as visualizations and descriptive statistics, and afterwards performing pre-modeling techniques such as factor analysis and prismal component, or simply creating dummy variables depending on what you're trying to solve. And lastly, if your project entails predictions or identifying explanatory variables, you would perform modeling methods. However, in the world of spatial statistics, it is a bit different. You would spatially explore the data, followed by assessing global and local statistics, and identify merging trends, assuming you have data with the temporal information. Otherwise, you would proceed to the final stage of modeling spatial relationships. When you download the set of tutorials, you will see that each tutorial is numbered in order, which are semi-dependent to one another. If you go to each one, you can see that they have their, their own document and it would rock you through the steps. What will the rest of this video will do is briefly summarize the purpose of each tutorial. For the first tutorial, you are exploring the spatial distribution by type of Toronto crime using the geographic distribution tool set. An example below shows how is it at a glance the spatial distribution of auto theft different from robbery, and what are the directional trends of each type of crime in Toronto. The second tutorial starts to go a bit more advanced in analyzing crime patterns by having a better understanding of spatial relationships using the Analyzing Patterns toolset. This toolset looks at spatial statistics from a global perspective. In other words, how are the types of crime distributed globally? Are they clustered, random, or dispersed across the study area? You will be using Average Nearest Neighbor, High Low Clustering Gettys or General G, and Spatial Autocorrelation to answer these questions. The third tutorial goes a bit more in depth of analyzing patterns by identifying clusters, which covers the local spatial statistics. Similar to the second tutorial, this one analyzes whether the types of crime are clustered, random, or dispersed locally. Cluster and outlier analysis and hotspot analysis, or known as the Geddes or G star, answers these questions. Since the crime occurrences in Toronto have been collected from 2014 till present day, a crime analyst may want to see whether there are areas that have seen a decrease or increase in crime over time, and if so, where does it happen and what types of trends would, that, would the crime analyst see? Therefore, this fourth tutorial would solve this type of problem by using the space-time pattern mining toolset, specifically the emerging hotspot analysis tool. While crime has been explored and analyzed globally and locally, and assessed spatial temporally, the last analysis is to understand factors that cause crime occurrences, specifically crime rate that seem to appear spatially. The Modeling Spatial Relationships tutorial covers this type of analysis using ordinary least squares, which measures the relationship globally, and the geographic weighted regression for local relationships. Additionally, it is best to review the appendix document that discusses the importance of multicollinearity, the use of principal component analysis, and the calculation of the location quotient. You can find this appendix document by going into the Modeling Spatial Analysis tutorial and under the appendix folder, and then you'll find the PDF file in here. That concludes the walkthrough video of the Advanced Spatial Analysis Labs. To receive educational up GIS updates, including free webinar postings, follow us on Twitter at GIS4HED.
Lastly, if you'd like to do more tutorials, go to our Higher Education Resource Finder page. And there you'll, you can download tutorials ranging from ArcGIS Pro to ArcGIS Enterprise.